My name is Garrett Plunkett. Uh, I was born July 27, 1983 in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Uh, myself and a partner started Suburban Solutions. Suburban Solutions is uh, a moving and junk removal company. Uh, our motto is pack, move, junk, clean. So we come in, we pack up your stuff, we move you out. We can also remove the junk, your unwanted furniture. And uh, we also have a cleaning component. We don't do it ourselves, but we have part cleaning partners uh, that come in and take care of the cleaning needs for you. So it's kind of an all-in-one relocation company. Um, a few of the key characteristics I'd say is definitely determination, discipline, um, a strong work ethic. I know it may sound like common sense, but it, it, especially when you're ver first getting started, you really have to put in the time. And um, it's not your average nine to five. The problem with the biggest transition I had going from corporate America to the entrepreneurial world is your clock never stops. You never check out. So it's kind of like one of those things, and especially as you grow and get more people involved, you know, you're you're always on call, so to speak. So that's been one of the biggest, you know, the, the biggest hurdle to get over. And then having that affect your personal relationships um, is, is a, has a it has a big impact on your personal. The, the one the one thing that stands out to me is. Um, you know, the, the quote, it's, uh, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. So it's one of those things that I, I've heard a lot of great quotes. My memory's not the greatest, so I can't, I can't recall them all. But um, that's one of the ones that, that's, that stood out to me uh, the most, um, you know, from a friend, like, way back in grade school that, that, that used to use something, you know, that had that, that motto. And it, it's absolutely right, you know. It's like it being an entrepreneur, you, you have to take risks. And I feel like and life gets pretty boring if you don't, at least for me, um, you know, continually take risks in personal, professional, and, in, in all aspects of life. So it's one of those things that um, the older you get, I feel like the more calculated risks you have to take, but um, at the same time, if you don't take them at all, you're never really gonna get anywhere. Um, I think it's it's gotta be harder, faster, stronger, longer. It's one of those things where I, I feel like I, I lived life to the fullest each and every step of the way, um, you know, from childhood into my teenage years, into college. Um, but I think, um, you know, to even take more advantage of the opportunities at hand, um, one of the things I, I always told myself is that I, I don't think, one of the things, that, one of the problems I had in college, uh, you know, at the 20 year old mark was, um, was kind of going with the flow and, and listening to what, you know, my, my professors and stuff had to say in terms of what they thought we should do. You're kind of programmed in college, I feel like, to get a job. And it's one of those things that that's kind of I, the trap I fell in was getting a job. So I focused my entire college career around getting a job. And that's exactly what I did, you know, but then I, I spent, I, you know, I wouldn't say wasted, but I, I spent that valuable time in college focused on getting a job through internships and this, that, and the other thing and, and looking at these, you know, major companies out there. And then I actually spent four years in industry with two different, you know, uh, Fortune 500 companies. And um, they were, you know, there were, there were pros and cons of, of that experience, but I, I really wish that I would have had those four years that I spent in corporate America plus the years I spent in college back to focus on really doing my own thing because I, I, I don't, I don't feel as though you need the corporate experience to be able to do what you want. It certainly told me what I didn't want in life, but I feel that if I would have had it all, had it to do all over again, that I would have, um, I would have went for it during college. I would have focused on, you know, things that I was really passionate about, not you know, companies that came to a career fair, or came in to give you know lectures in class. I would have, I would have focused on more things I was directly passionate about or that I thought I could solve versus what you know I was kind of programmed to do in terms of getting a job.